was the night before Christmas and all through the house. Not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care, and hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The children were nestled all snuggled in their beds. Wow. Vision of Sega plums dance in their heads. And Mama in her kerchief and I and my cat had just settled our brains for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn there arose such a clatter, I sprang from the bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window, I swear like a flash. Tore open the shutters. Do the sash. The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave the luster of midday to objects below. When what to my wondering I should appear but a miniature sleigh in a tiny reindeer. With a little old thrival so lively and quick, I knew it in a moment it must be. Nick. An eagle, his course raided. They came, and he whistled, and shouted, and called them by name. Top of the porch, to the top of the wall. No dashway. No dashway. Dashway. Dashway, dashway, dashway off. As dry leaves before the wild hurricane fly, when they meet with an obstacle mount to the sky. At the top house, the cushions they flew, with the family toys, and shaking the gifts too. And then in a twinkling, I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew, in my head, I was turning around, down the chimney, St. Nicholas, with the bound. He was dressed on fur, from his head to his foot, and his clothes are tarnished. In the dashes and set, a bundle of toys was flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes have they twinkled, his dimples how many, his cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cheese. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow. The beard of his chin was as white as the snow. The stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth, and the smoke it encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face, no little round belly. That shook when he laughed, like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump. I was a jolly old elf, and I laughed when I saw him, in spite of myself. A wink of his eye, a twist of his head, to gave me to know, and nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work, and filled all the stockings, then turned with a jerk. The lane his finger. A side of his nose, giving a nod, up the chimney he rose. He sprung to his sleigh, threw his team, gave a whistle, and away they all flew like the down of a thistle. But I heard him exclaim, ere he drove out of sight, Happy Christmas to all, 
and to all a good night.